What is going on guys, this is John here, first coming to YouTube, and welcome back to another video in the Android Studio App Development Tutorials, and this is the, the Advanced Tutorial Series. And uh, today we're going to continue with the Contact Manager app, and we're going to add um, the uh, contact image to the list view. Alright, so let's just get straight into it, and I'm, by the way, I'm sorry for not making a video on, the, I don't think, on Sunday, but I was really busy because of Christmas and all that, so hopefully this is excused. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty, so let's get right into this because what we want to do, we want to have uh, this list view item and we basically want to use an image view to display the contact image. So whenever a contact is added, we basically want um, to display that contact image in the list of all the contacts. Okay, so each contact is going to have an individual image. Alright, so I'm just thinking a little bit about. Uh, okay. All right, so I was thinking about how to actually apply this kind of thing, um, and I got the idea to add a line uh, layout right here, which is also a linear layout, but it's going to be horizontal. And so we got to take this linear layout and drag it on top of the or above this. Oh, I think right in here. Um, and I want to change that a little bit because I want this to be above the linear layout if that's working. Not entirely sure. Okay, obviously it's not working. So I guess we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. All right, I think I'm. Okay, I know what the problem is now. Uh, I'm gonna change this to vertical, and I'm gonna take all the uh, the text and all that, and I'm gonna put this into this linear layout, and then I'm gonna change the layout which I currently have. The uh, layer, which is like the parent of this vertical linear layer we just created, I'm going to change this to a horizontal, and then we should be fine. So let's get to the orientation right here and change this to horizontal. Okay, because what we want to put in this layout right here, in this uh, horizontal linear layer, we want to put the uh, image view. So the image is basically right next to these uh, the contact name, the phone, the email address, and uh, the actual address. So let's just uh, okay I'm not even gonna try I think I'm just gonna put this in here and I want this to be above the linear layout right now okay and then I want to make this a hundred by a hundred I guess I'm not quite sure about this hundred by a hundred thing because I don't know if this is actually gonna yeah 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 I think this is gonna be quite good this might actually work out well okay maybe a little maybe something like 80 will work I guess, I guess that's good, but I think we should keep it the same. Okay, well, I'm gonna put something like 75. Yeah, that might actually be perfect. All right, now let's do the same thing for the width again because that would look a little stretched then, and we don't really want that. All right, so now we set up this um, this list view item. And by the way, if you can't remember that, and we actually have this in our adapter which we are setting somewhere so we made this custom adapter which is right here and then basically our image view uh, is also going to be a part of the adapter so we're going to need to change our adapter class as well but first I'm going to actually use an ID which is useful so it's gonna I, I'm I thought about it and I think IV contact image is better so oops, use the space there sorry contact image alrighty Okay, so now what we want to do, we want to actually um, apply this adapter and basically include our image view as well. So to do that, we're going to need to go into our code and just add the image view right here. So it's just going to be image view, and we're going to call this IV contact image equals to, and then we need to cast this again. Okay, no, not again, but <laughs> we need to cast this. And then just do the same thing here, find view by ID, our dot ID dot IV contact image view. Okay. So now this is gonna be this is gonna be a little weird because we cannot actually use the image. We can just say okay set image and then set the image UI because we need to get the UI of the image and we basically need to um just refer to this from this class. So the current contact um, needs 
basically the image UI and this needs to be store, stored there. And then we kind of need to create a try catch statement in order to make sure that the image is actually not deleted. So this is just going to set the uh, default image then. Usually you would kind of create a backup of the image and store that somewhere like in the internal storage and then you would use that then the user can actually delete the image and it's not actually going to crash the app or anything but we're not going to do that because we're going to talk about storage options a little bit later alrighty so let's just change our contact class right here so we want to extend this a little bit and add another parameter which is going to be URI and again we need to import this alt and enter UI um, image UI or just I think we can just add UI um, oh no it's alright oh hat okay that's interesting so I'm gonna go up here and add a private URI and I'm gonna call this underscore image URI and now we're gonna set that underscore Oh, damn it. <laughs> Image UI. I haven't used my computer for quite some time now. Um, okay. Image UI. And now we need to create an um, a method in order to actually get this uh, Image UI. So we're going to do public UI. Get Image UI. And then I think we can just use that. Return underscore image UI okay and now we're good as you can see alright so whenever we are creating a contact as you can see we also have to pass through this URI right here so in order to do that we need to add another parameter to our add contact void and this is going to be just um, I don't think we need this add contact void this is just seems a little bit stupid if I'm being completely honest here does essentially nothing. Okay, let's get rid of this uh, contact add contact void because it's pretty stupid. Um, so we're just gonna do contacts dot add new contact. Okay, and then we're just gonna need to go all the way to the end and just pass through the UI. And to pass through the UI, what we're going to need to do, well, we need to kind of get the UI, and there are two ways of doing this. Um, I, s I oh, okay, maybe three or something. But I would just create a public variable right now, and we would change that later on because I don't really have any time right now because this video is already getting quite long. Um, I would just create a public variable, but you could also store this in the tag which we got to cover pretty soon as well because I'm going to talk a little bit about downloading images from the internet and all that so this is going to be a topic as well I don't really know how to integrate this into the app yet but I'm going to figure that out so right now I'm just going to create a variable up here which is just going to be called URI and then image URI and I'm just going to set this to null so it is actually assigned oh we don't actually have this value oh what the fuck yeah could you please okay thank you okay that's good alright and now we're just gonna need to pass through the image UI and yeah okay we're good and now what we want to do um, whenever we're gonna click on the image it's of course gonna select the contact image but what we want to do on this on activity result as well oh no this is just gonna create this chooser I'm sorry um, but on this on activity result at the moment it's just gonna set the contact image which we have um, on the list view I guess no on the uh, on the main activity and it's just gonna set that to the image the user selected but now what we want to do as well we want to change it a little bit so the URI which gets passed through is also the URI which uh, uh, no this variable will also be set to the URI um, which is actually yeah the image which the user picked so what we're gonna do right now is go to image URI Okay, spell that. <laughs> okay, um, image UI equals to data. Data dot get data, and now you're just gonna see something in a second. Because of course this doesn't know. That this is necessarily um, a uh, a URI. So right now what we're gonna need to do, we're just gonna need to uh, cast this. 
So right now we gotta go over here. Oh, this is a different UI. Okay. Just cast this. Okay, so this seems to be a little weird. Android.net UI. Oh, okay. I messed that up. Okay, I'm sorry because. Okay, I'm gonna change that real quick because we I actually refer to the URI, which is the uh, Java.net URI, which is of course wrong because the Android.net URI we want. So I'm gonna change that and I'll re be right back. All right, guys. So now I actually changed all the um, uppercase URIs to just yeah the lowercase URI or just one uppercase URI, the use uppercase, and then I oh, oh, just forget it. Okay, just change that to that form right here. And I actually imported that with android.net.ui, which you should have done before because of this method right here, which we used. And yes, I'm sorry that I was confused, but URI, which j with uh, with just the uppercase letters, is actually refers to um, the java.net.ui, which is basically just a URL as we know it. But the URI is also uh, in Android is also referring to something like a file path and all that. It's just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit different. All right. So now the image UI equals data dot get data is working. Okay, so that's pretty great right now. So all we need to do now is go to our IV contact image, and then we're just gonna do um, dot set image UI right now. And then what we're gonna need to do is we're just gonna go ahead and use the current contact dot get image UI, and then it's gonna be good. All right, I think this is exactly what's great about it. So that should be working now, I hope. All right, so I think that's already all we have to do. So I'll see you in the app. All right, guys, I'm in the app right now. And as you can see, we have the still the old Android version. And I'm sorry for that again. All right, so let's just create a contact right now. So I'm going to call this Johnny. And going to apply... Oh, random phone number like that and then an email which is gonna be just Johnny only yeah I'll take this I don't know <laughs> gonna be good <laughs> and of course we have to select an image so I'm gonna do that right now get into my gallery and again I have my rear image right here okay and then we need the address which is just I don't know see some Street 5. And I'm just going to hit enter to get to the button and hit enter again. And now it says Johnny has been added to your contact. And if you go to the list right now, okay, so this is a little bit weird, but as you can see, this is working. So you can see that we have Johnny right here and the contact image is being displayed. So that's pretty cool. So that's what we have achieved right now. And yeah guys, thanks for watching, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to talk a little bit about how to actually scroll to get to this button, so we're going to talk about view paging and all that. Alright, well thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.